Anything else for you, my dear? Okie doke. Located on Mount Vernon Avenue, the Dairy Godmother treats customers to homemade frozen custard and a wide array of sweet, nostalgic treats. I make all the cookies and all the sorbets and all the custards, um, all the marshmallows and all the dog treats pretty much myself. It's not just the food that's kind of a treat. It's the atmosphere of running into other people that you know. When she opened her frozen custard shop, Liz Davis's dream was to create what sociologist Ray Oldenburg called a third place. The first place being home, the second place being work, and the third place being a place where you could kind of feel more connected to the world and the community. And I think that those places are getting less and less in the world now. So Liz carefully picked a one-of-a-kind community for her one-of-a-kind custard shop. I have daily customers. I have weekly customers. It's kind of, you know, like the cheers thing, except without the alcohol. <laughs> Liz Davis also brought a piece of her native Wisconsin to her new home. The Dairy Godmother hosts a monthly Bratwurst Night, a well-known event in the Delray community. Brat Night is only from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And um, people will start lining up before 6. We have our um, accordion player plays polkas, and I make German potato salad, I make sauerkraut with apples, and it'll just be like a big mishmash of people trying to get food, but it's not really about the food, it's just being with each other, and it's nice. Despite the enormous success of the Dairy Godmother, don't look for Liz Davis to open up shop in your neighborhood anytime soon. I will not open any other place because it just wouldn't be the same. People feel a sense of ownership of the place and I think that that is very important. This is not just my place, it's the neighborhood's place as well. For more on the Dairy Godmother and on WETA Neighborhoods, visit our website at weta.org.